right guys today i'm going to go through my top five tips for acrylic painting if you're a beginner painter these tips will help you out enormously or whether you're a veteran i'm sure you'll agree that these tips greatly improve the final outcome of your painting welcome back to prince of cabin creations i'm kana and i'm an artist illustrator and creator of things So we'll start off with a real simple one, but sometimes forgotten. Always use gesso on a canvas. Gesso is an important art supply to get your canvas ready for painting. It prepares and primes the canvas, making the surface slightly textured and ready to absorb acrylic paint. Without gesso, the paint will soak into the weave of the canvas. It will greatly improve the final painting. Number two, Always start off with a base coat of paint. On canvas, while your gesso is still setting and wet, apply a base color of paint to your canvas to help with the tones. A proper base coat color enhances the appearance of the overall painting. Goes for what I was saying either on walls or canvas. I generally put on a light coat of yellow. Before you start painting on the canvas, moisten the back area. The woven material on canvas is almost 100% unbleached cotton duck, which shrinks like nobody's business. The shrink method works on any cotton canvas, but it works better on ones that haven't been painted on yet. So I'm using just a wee spray bottle to spray the back of the canvas. Now, unless you live in like South Africa or Brazil, where there's currently a water shortage, when you're mixing and using your paints, use more than one vessel of water. Even the smallest amount of dark paint will contaminate the rest of your colors and just, it's a bad time for everyone. Use a few different vessels to hold your water. Trust me. Bad. Now I am guilty of this even to this day. Really do try my hardest to not. Whatever you do, do not store your paintbrushes like this. It simply just ruins the whole brush and all the bristles of your brush are just gonna be wrecked. So everyone has their own different way of cleaning a paintbrush, but what works for me and what I found is very effective is to use up whatever paint is left up on the brush. And if it's an oil-based paint, Use mineral spirits or turpentine to clean that off. If it's latex paint, warm water, and soap. So make sure the solvent cleans off all the bristles of paint. You can use a brush comb to get rid of those really hard to reach places. And once clean, completely wash the brush in warm soapy water. I use this brush cleaner, specifically made for paint brushes. It's a preserver and the conditioner keeps my brushes looking sexy. And I make sure all the liquid is completely gone off the paintbrush. And afterward, I either hang them upside down or lay them out flat on a fabric to ensure the bristles don't get bent out of shape. Now, as I said, that's my method. Other people have different ways of doing their things. This is just what works for me. And there is five tips you stayed out to the end of this video thank you very much if you learned something hit that subscribe button and give me an owl like artists need love too if you have your own tips for beginners or something to add on to this list add that in below i make a new video every wednesday you should know this by now and if you didn't now you do thanks again guys